What's up, YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. I'm back again with my Ninja Foodie Mini, which is basically a five quart Ninja Foodie. Today, for you guys, I'm going to make some beef short ribs. Shout out to Shirley and the rest of my Kitchen Gadgets group for putting me on to this uh, seasoning. Never used it before, but I figured I'd try it today. So you're going to see in a second, I marinated this for, what did I do, 30 minutes, something like that, in my marinade machine, which you, like I said, you'll see in a second. I put some oils in, I put some, uh, some olive oil, some apple cider vinegar, and I think that's it, and then just the, just the seasoning. So anyway... Pressure. Oh, that looks so good, guys. Right, guys, let's put it in sear and saute mode. Got my Evo sprayer, y'all. I'm gonna hit it with some olive oil real quick, and we're gonna get our short ribs in there. We want to brown all sides. Alright guys, to quiet everybody up, I'm going to add a half a cup of water in there. Shout out to Aldi one time. Link will be in the description, y'all. Pour a cup in here. Never had an onion bouillon before, but we're going to try it today. Put this much in there. That's all the seasoning I'm doing, guys. You could go ahead and add some bay leaves, some fresh thyme, all that good stuff, but I'm good. All right, let's go ahead and hit pressure. Keep it at high. We're going to do 45 minutes, y'all. Then we're going to come back. We're going to do a manual release and put our uh, onions, carrots, celery. I might even put some mushrooms in there. I'm not sure. But um, we're going to put all that in there and then do a, make it come up to pressure again and do a natural release for 15 minutes. And we're going to add a special guest to it as well. But stay tuned. I'll be back in 45. Oh, and by the way, make sure you put your valve on seal. Guys, let's release the pressure. Mm -mm -mm, smelling good. Now, what I'm gonna do is gonna take a little extra time, but it's gonna be worth it. This is my fat separator, y'all. Link will be in the description. Took my ribs out temporarily. Some of the bones done fell out already. Just pour it in. And wait a couple minutes and let the grease rise to the top. And then we press this little trigger right over here and let the good grease out. I mean, the good gravy out. I don't know if you can see it, but all that's fat right there. So I would release it all the way up to there. 
See? I'm just gonna push down that red trigger right there and release my gravy. Now I'm just gonna do it to the fat line. Perfect. And the reason why I have to do that, y'all, is because I get inflammation when I eat all that, consume all that uh, fat. And I don't want that. You shouldn't want it either. That's straight gravy, y'all. I'm going to take a quick test, taste test. Oh, that's good. That's good. The only thing I need to add is some, I'm going to add some garlic to it. I have some garlic paste. And I'm going to add to it. That's all I need. One, two. Yeah. All right. Just made an executive decision. Instead of celery, I think I'm going to go with mushrooms. I'll just eat the celery I had chopped up as a snack. <laughs> I think I'm going to go with mushrooms. That would be better. I think. What do you guys think? Some of you guys will probably add the celery as well. I started off one in celery, but yeah, and that's like a pound of mushrooms. Go ahead and add my carrots. Carrots. Put my onions on top. No really particular order you have to do this. I'm just doing it this way. Just looks better to me, but. Doesn't matter. I would definitely though get the carrots. Make sure the carrots are in the water because we're gonna we're gonna do a natural release for 15 minutes. We're gonna get we're gonna put it to pressure for zero minutes and do a natural release for 15 minutes. So we want to make sure at least if anything the carrots are you know at least touching the liquid so they can cook down because you know carrots take a while to cook. I want mine a little chewy. Most of the bones fell off the ribs, which is great. They're really done right now. I could stop right now if I want to. But anyway, we're going to go into overtime because that's just what I do. Put this down there like that. It's a rack. You guys can go ahead and skin a potato and put as many as you want that will fit on top. And you'll cook for mashed potatoes in 15 minutes. I'm going to be using green bananas. And for those of you that don't know what green bananas are, these are just um, regular bananas, you know, yellow bananas before they become ripe and yellow. These are not ripe, but you can still eat them. You just have to boil them because they're tough. They don't have, they don't taste sweet at all. It kind of has a mashed potato um, taste and consistency. So, but these are really good for you, uh, much better than uh, potatoes. So if I had to choose between a potato and green banana, I pick a green banana. Ten out of ten, and I'll leave a link in the description so you could check out the benefits of eating green bananas. I won't go over it now, but it's awesome and it tastes awesome. Put some butter on there, and we're good to go. Anyway, guys, I got this at my local Oriental market. You might be able to find it at a Caribbean market. Just cut the ends off and then just slit it in the middle. Like so, boom, and it's ready for the pressure cooker. All right, that's what we're looking like. So let's put the cover back on. All right, my valve is already on seal. I'm going to hit pressure, keep it at high. I'm going to bump it down to zero. And then we're just going to let it naturally release for 15 minutes. It's all my pressure cooker heads out there you know when you have a pressure cooker for a while you could just tell when it's gonna come to pressure just like in the next five seconds I believe this is gonna hit pressure watch you hear that little click see you hear that little click noise you just know so alright so it hit pressure now it's in uh, keep warm so like I said we're gonna let this count up for 15 minutes release it and then we're finally done alright I'll be back Alright guys, 15 minutes is up. I'll release the rest of the steam. If there's a, if even any. Just a little. 
All right, we're all done. So I'm going to take my green bananas out first and uh, make my mashed potatoes. Your best bet in doing this, guys, is just put on some gloves because this is just it's just too hot to do with your bare hands. It's too annoying to do it with like a fork or a tongue or whatever. Just just peel it off that way. Boom. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and get my butter in here. The healthy amount. It's probably too much, but it's all good. See, it's just mashing down just like mashed potatoes. 15 minutes on a natural release. Look at that. All this needs is some salt, but I'm gonna add this garlic, scallion, and allspice. So Caribbean spice. There you go. Mix that together. This is perfect. Now I could have added some milk to you know make it more smooth, but this is the consistency that I want tonight. This is what we're looking like guys, smelling fantastic. I cannot wait to make my plate. I am starving, so we're ready. Paper towel time. Shout out to all the viewers and subscribers that hit the like button way before my video is even finished. I appreciate that. There it is guys. You saw the paper towel go up, so that means it's time to eat. But first, I want to give a toast out to all my subscribers. Toast to you guys. Keep watching my videos. I'll keep making them. Mm. All right. All right, guys. Let's get into it. I'm ready to eat. Oh, this is just falling right off. I don't need no knife. Let's take. Let's let's take a bite of the short rib one time. You got it? Mmm. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Way too much flavor. Yeah. Link will be in the description. I like that. The wine, oof, the wine gave it a good, good flavor as well. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna get some, some green bananas in there. I'm gonna get you a fully loaded bite. Let's get a, let's get, let's get a carrot in there. Got some onions. That's what I want. You got it? Mm. It's too good. It's too good, guys. It's just too good. The mushroom, the carrots, the onions, short rib. Take some of that off. Let's get another bite in there. You got it? See that onion hanging right there? You got it? Alright. Mm. Don't forget, I'll put a link in the description. Show you all the green banana benefits. It's much healthier than potatoes. I can tell you that right now. Nothing wrong with potatoes. Potatoes are good, but if you have blood sugar issues, then you you know what it you already know what it is. I'm a pre diabetic, so mm. Well you guys, you know I'm gonna sit down and enjoy the rest of this. I'm gonna leave in the description first of all the ninja food and mini. You guys wanna check that out. And look at all I did in the ninja food and mini. That's why I got rid of my Ninja Foodie, because the, the Mini is all I really need. It's, it's much lighter than the Foodie, and you're just losing height. You're not losing any width. 
and I didn't really need all of that height. So for me, the mini is actually absolutely fantastic, actually. So definitely, I'll leave a link in there. Check that out. And also, before I go, I will leave a link to my pressure cooker group on Facebook. Whether you have this Ninja Foodi Mini or any pressure cooker, we'd love to see what you're making in your pressure cooker. So I'll leave a link in there. Come in there. Um, show off what you're making in whatever pressure you, cooker you got or do a search and get recipes. I'll also leave a link to my Ninja Foodi Nation group. If you have any Ninja Foodi, whether it be this Ninja Foodi Mini, a 8-quart, 6-quart, Deluxe, whatever you got, Come in there and show off what you're making in your foodie. We'd love to see it. And finally, I'll also leave a link in the description uh, to my uh, low, lower carb nation group. Join my low carb group. It's not keto. It's just low carb. We'd love to see what you're um, making low carb. Or just do a search in there and get some inspiration. Guys, if you have an Instagram, look me up. Instagram or TikTok, look me up on those platforms cooking with Doug but other than that hit like if you like it remember to subscribe if anything thanks for just even looking at my video y'all it's cooking with Doug and I'm out